Now, Secretary Carson, I want to speak briefly on the tenor of political debate in our society today. I do not know how you will be treated in this hearing. I know on previous occasions, members of this committee believe that members, uh, witnesses, should, quote, be treated fairly, should, quote, be shown courtesy, should, quote, be allowed to answer questions, and, quote, be shown respect. We'll allow the public to determine whether members who have demanded that in the past live up to their words today. And I think we all know that words matter. I know that Steve Scalise believes this, and if you listened to him yesterday, you would know how passionately he does, and I'm not sure there is any member of the House who has greater credibility on the subject. For those who daily promote diversity, I would call upon them to respect diversity of opinion, which is the single most important form of diversity in a free and democratic society. I also lament as I look back that there was a time in America's history where you could be denied service in a restaurant based on the color of your skin. Now apparently it's the color of your voter registration card. To all my colleagues, particularly those who disagree with my political views, I don't own a restaurant. But if I owned a restaurant in Dallas, I want you to know you would be welcome there and I'd be proud to be seen with you. If you come to Dallas, I'd be glad to take you to one. You can pick it, Tex-Mex or barbecue, take your pick. And as we eat, please know I would not yield you the moral high ground. I would not lessen my passion for individual liberty and economic opportunity, but I would listen carefully to your views and I would seek common ground with you. And should my supporters be in that restaurant, the only thing I would call on them to do would be to show you respect and to surround you with Texas friendly hospitality. I yield back the balance of my time. I now recognize the gentlelady from California, Ms. Waters, the ranking member for three minutes. And as to the chairman's comments about civility and about what he would do if he owned a restaurant, let me just say that I think every reasonable person have concluded that the President of the United States of America has advocated violence, he has been divisive, and he has been the one that has caused what we see happening today, where people are trying to push back on his policies and where people are trying to have peaceful protests instead of violence, but he continues to call names and he continues uh, to challenge people in very violent ways. I'll quote to you some of his uh, said, staying, saying, uh, in his campaign, I quote, he said, I'd like to knock the crap out of them. Further, he said, you know what they used to do to guys like that? When they were in a place like this, they'd be carried out on a stretcher, uh, folks. And in addition to that, he also talked about the fact that uh, if someone was hurt or while they were being assaulted, as he was encouraging them to do, he said this, so if you see somebody getting ready to throw a tomato, knock the crap out of them, and would you, seriously, Trump said, okay, just knock the hell out. I promise I will pay for the legal fees. I promise, I promise. So, Mr. Chairman, if you want to talk about civility, you start with the President of the United States, and you implore him not to continue uh, to promote violence, not to continue to pro promote divisiveness, and then I think uh, he would be a better example, and people would follow a better example, rather than get trapped into what he's advocating, which is pure violence. I yield back the balance of my time.